Alright guys, welcome to the Couch Cool Out. We just shot a whole bunch of video on the uh, Wii U and we lost it all, so we're reshooting. But, um, since we did play a lot of uh, Super or Super Luigi U, and get you guys' thoughts on that. Uh, Eric, why don't you hit us up first? Thoughts? Um, it was good. As a true Mario game, it was difficult to the point where it pissed me off. So, uh, kudos for that. But yeah, I don't know. Mario's gotten uh, a bit... It's it's the same old Mario. They just put some new shit in there. Forgive my French. But, you know, it's got some cool, cool new factors. There's this one character, he's just a parasite, adding making the game weird, but, uh, I, I give it a thumb sideways. I'm, I'm a little indifferent about it. It just means it's still on the fence. Definitely on the fence. Reese? Yeah, it's a good party game, but it's nothing I would, uh, play solo or buy unless I had kids or something. And that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, recommend it to families or... If you're having a group of friends over and you're looking for something to play, although there is a uh, what's the one with the, with the racing Mario, Mario Kart? Kart? Yeah, there is Mario Kart, so I'd just be a skip over <laughs> if there's Mario Kart on the shelf. Yeah, it's a great party game if you have if you are couch co-op basically. Um, other than that, it's not a fun single player game. I don't think tons of fun with four players or three. Um, especially since you can get in each other's way on purpose and jump on each other's head. Oh, is that what you were doing? <laughs> no, that's what he was doing. He was sabotaging us. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's fun if you're all in the same room and uh, have a couple beers and go hectic. It'll be fun. If um, you're of age, of course. If you're of age, Because yeah. it's, what, T for teen? Yeah. So I don't think there's a lot of alcohol being involved, but <laughs> if you're of age, go right ahead. <laughs> But yeah, it's fun. It's a fun party game if you're all in the same room. Uh, let's see. Next up. So, SNES Classic. It finds that the, the pre-orders are finally going to be available this month. Oh really? Yeah. Did you put one in? Uh, no, they said the end of this month. Oh, they got to start People taking have them. been like swarming online, all the websites, every single day. Really? Trying to get there. Yeah. Now. Is this uh, they took a Walmart, the same like, 60 game? No, this is the 20 games. This has 21 games on it. Really? Yeah. Wait, what's the the price point? Uh, it went up 20 bucks. Because <laughs> the um the N6 uh, or the N64, the NES Classic was 60 bucks. Yeah. Games. Okay. This is the SNES Mini or Classic, whatever. It has 21 games and it's 80 bucks. <laughs> but they're are... better games. They're better games. I guarantee you. Let's hope so. But um. Like, Walmart accidentally put up a pre-order, and people were running to the website shut the website down by accident. This is insane. Because there's so many people trying to access it at once. But here's my thing. It's not that hard to get an NES. SNES. SNES. You can probably get one off of eBay or some sort of website. I don't understand. Okay, the collection the, uh, of games on there are not available. Would, would cost a lot of money. Uh, Especially right. because what about, of, what about emulators? They don't have em you can just download that's it. That's illegal technically. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you wanted to do it cheap or not, emulators or a flash cart is probably the easiest way to go. Just but. down just get yeah, download it and see which game you actually like and then if there's enough They're of them, all good spend games money. though. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay, there's one game that I was told is good, but I've never played. It's like a, um, a Kirby uh, golf game. That sounds awesome. Yeah, Kirby it doesn't golf. sound that awesome, but that's the only game on <laughs> there. He sucks it up and, and spits it to the hole? No, you hit Kirby into the hole. Yeah, that's oh, you have to hit did. him into enemies and then go into the hole. Interesting. Kirby's always fun. Kirby is always fun. Um, but I just wanted to know what you guys think might... Uh, since. They recently um, patented the original N64 controller in Europe, and they re or renewed their license basically. Right. So they did that before the NES and for the Super Nintendo when they were planning on doing the classic. Now that they've done it for the N64, 
people are making rumors, do you think oh, they're going to come off a mini 64? They would have to. They can't do the first two and then not do N64. That was just like a game changer. <laughs> it would be crazy not to. Why not suck all the money out of as many people as possible. <laughs> Why not? That's the Nintendo mind though. They want to sell you the same game as many yes. times as they can. Yeah. And you keep buying it, ladies and gentlemen. I'd buy a uh, Mini 64. I might actually I'm buying a Mini SNES, but i definitely buy a Mini 64. But um, what games do you think should be on a Mini well, SNES? I'm going to start it off. 64, huh? Mario Kart 64. Oh, of course. I would say Star Fox would Star definitely Fox be your top of list. definitely fine. Also... Mm. For 60, because the SNES is coming with two controllers now. The NES only came with one. I think, I don't know, I don't think they would, but it would be cool if it came with four controllers, since the uh, N64 had four spots on it. That's true. And both games we just said are both four-player games. The uh, the controllers for the, uh, the, the the original Nintendo, was that removable, or was that all connected? The, it the was, mini, was that like a it, removable? It's removable. It's oh, removable. okay. I would like to see them bring back Turok. Turok? I was never a big Turok fan. No? A lot of people liked it, I just never got into it. I, I played the first after stage. You get over the exactly! <laughs> after you get over the dizziness, uh -huh. I think you can uh, muscle through. Well, why play a game in Turok when you can play Perfect Dark? Perfect Dark, yeah. No laptops in the laptop yes. spot. We need, we, need, we need that. Perfect For dark. anyone who doesn't understand that, that was an old joke we used to play when we were playing Perfect Dark. The laptop gun you can throw in Perfect Dark and turn it into a sentry gun. Yeah. So what we used to do is take pick it up and then you immediately throw it where it spawns so that no one else <laughs> yeah. can so get a laptop gun. And and you can so put we started it screaming everywhere. out, no laptops in the laptop side. You can put them on the roof, on the side of the wall, in the corner. It looks like a camera. It was basically free kills. Yeah. Oh my god. So cheesy. Great game though. That was a great game. Cue to gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, alright, what else? Um, N64. You could say GoldenEye, but yeah, well, I think Perfect Dark is better than Perfect Golden Dark. Perfect Dark, it was a step up. Remember that uh, Wave? What was that? Wave oh, Runner? Wave Runner? Wave Runner game? Uh -huh. Wave 64, whatever? Yeah, it was Wave like one, one of the first games that came with it. Yeah. I mean, I played a bunch of cool games. Uh, Castlevania was out for the 64, it was pretty good. Um,. Yeah, though, that's when I started smoking weed, so it's a little <laughs> hazy. <laughs> okay. So it's not really registering. How to uh, remember these things? Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Time? Zelda, I, I don't have the patience for it, but go right ahead. <laughs> I, I doubt that they would not put it on there. I mean, if they own the title, so of course they would have to put it on there. I mean, Anything that's first one. party is going to be easy to license. What else did I have for 64? I, I really can't remember. So I wonder how far they're going to The, the very first uh, Smash Brothers it was on the 64. Was it? That, yeah. Oh, I didn't even play that. You played it. You played it in my house. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, oh, was that with um, when it had like, just a few characters? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. Let's see what else they have. Yeah, it was Wave Race, the game you're talking about. Yes. The original Star Wars Rogue Squadron, but I didn't like the first one. I think the one on, on um, GameCube was better. Yeah, GameCube one was uh, definitely a rock star. <laughs> uh, anything else worth mentioning? Let's see. Ah, Hidden Gem. I have it plugged into my N64 right now. Ogre Battle 64. A great ta uh, tactical um, RPG. I haven't played that one. Nope. Fantastic game. Mm. Is that the one where you were side scrolling before you were playing that? No, it's not side scrolling. It's top down. You don't control the units. You just like you make a squad and then you send them out. Oh, and okay. And then how they do is up to them. How well you manage them. Okay. That's pretty cool. You think they're gonna just keep it releasing minis? I think honestly that's why they haven't released a uh, virtual console for the um, Switch. Because everyone keeps talking about, oh yeah, when they're going to release the Switch Virtual Console so they can play all the old games. But I think they're purposely holding off so that they can sell the minis. Right, squeeze the market. And then come off the Virtual Console. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. That definitely sounds like Nintendo. I mean, squeeze every last dime out of them. 
and people will be like lapping it up. Of course. I'm surprised that uh, Nintendo Mini did so well. I the NES was, Mini? Uh, yeah. I, I think a lot of people lukewarm. were, I mean, some people were just resellers. We uh, only got it to resell. <laughs> but a lot of people were just like, oh, this is the new fad, so let me just jump on that. They weren't really interested in it. They wanted yeah. to be in the in yeah, 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 exactly. Basically, people keep buying People like me who shit. actually wanted it to, to play, even though I technically haven't really opened mine yet. But, um... Where is yours? You haven't set it up. No, it's in my closet. Oh. Uh, um, when I open it, I'm probably going to hack it and put like 500 games on it. I'm going to have the entire NES library on it instead of just 30 games. That's what I was expecting them to do. <laughs> <laughs> but they lose money on that. They're just supposed to bring it up for the nostalgia factor. <laughs> Nintendo is back. There's the memories. It's all about the money. Alright, so... What do you guys think of the new um, fighting games they got coming out? Which one? For which? For which system? We got, um... Let's see. Let's load up some trailers and... Let you guys watch right fast. Dragons. Oops. Oh, the new DBZ joint? Yeah, it's Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah. I don't mind being investigated, Dave. I'm, I'm clean. This one looks just like the Yeah, it looks like um, show footage. This is all game footage. It looks like it's gonna be crazy. What is this coming out for? All systems? Yeah. Or not all systems, but um, Xbox and PS4. Uh. What? Oh. Yeah. Are you serious? 3D3 fighting. Wow. Looks like it might be epic. I'm gonna say something crazy right now. What? Street Fighter, be careful. <laughs> because this looks absolutely insane. I mean, Capcom? Yeah, Capcom, be careful. Because that looks so much better, honestly, than um, Ultimate. Yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, I mean, way better. <laughs> Plus, it's a 3v3 fighting game. Yeah, I'm gonna play that. I'm definitely gonna play <laughs> I'm that. I'm gonna play that too. They have um, they have tournaments of, of the Dragon Ball series, right? What are the fighting games? For the fighting games, I have no idea. No. I'm, I'm sure, sure they something. do. Oh, I think at um, Evo this year they had, they had a tournament for the demo for this. I think. Really? Yeah. Nice. Oops. I like how you can bring other characters in and continue a combo. That's crazy. Yeah. I'll probably pick this up next week. But it's another Arc System game. Arc System is a uh, guilty game. Looks like you're still in a we also make um, In Birth, Under Night, and um, all those crazy names. Yeah. Names. And uh, Blaze Blue. Do you understand now? Adachi! Something terrible is about to happen to this town. I can't believe this. Stupid Dragon, I hate you! 
This is very anime game. <laughs> Never. Wait, so they're talking like that while the fighting? I think it's part of the trailer. Oh, okay. I think it's the priest talking. It could be the storyline too, right? Yeah. yeah, that would be true. Yeah. 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 What? I'm guessing these are specials? Yeah. Where she remembers her childhood before she does a special? Has deep thoughts. There's probably like a um insta kill type joint. So I, I, always have, I always have really deep thoughts before I kill someone. I mean about anything? It's normal. Whatever I choose to kill somebody about. <laughs> now I only showed you that so I can show you that. I think Capcom has a huge amount of competition coming up with this. This was debuted at EVO this year, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, People with bananas for this. One. That was a crossover. Yeah. A triple crossover? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Are you serious? Apparently, they love that anime or cartoon so much in Japan, they put her in a game. Wow. <laughs> and that's, that's, a, that's a reverse, in, um, uh, it's not like we imported it, but we exported it basically, because that's an American show. Get that money. So Ruby Get that Japan is money. now... <laughs> nice. You got to do this. Get that Japan money. Was it called Yen? Yeah. Yes. Get that yen. Get that yen. But I mean, with Blaze Group Cross Tag and Dragon Ball Z Fighter. Yeah, definitely. Capcom has, has some worries to do. <laughs> Capcom got to step their game up. And then you still got stuff like, um, what was it? King of Fighters 14 on the PS4. I think they still have new characters coming up for that. Pokemon is pretty crazy. Pokemon? Pokemon, the Pokemon Arena oh, game. Oh, that's like coming Tekken. up for um, Switch. Oh. Uh, they got, uh, that looks insane. Pokemon, Pokemon DX, I think they're calling yeah, it. Yeah, when does that come out? Uh, I thought that was out already. I think because that ended a month. No. Oh. I just seen gameplay on the old one. I never played it. Well, they're they're redoing it for the Switch. But that game looks absolutely insane. And adding characters. There's too many games to get into. Oh my God. <laughs> so I gotta quit my job and start gaming. 24 7. That's right. Is it Pokemon Tournament? Yeah, it's Pokemon Tournament. You've never seen Pokemon? I think I've seen the trailer when it first came out. September 22nd. Is this the game? This is the trailer for it. Or oh, he's Ash or something? No, he's just a Japanese guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Read it into it. <laughs> Everybody in. That's it. Play some poking. It's in the rival. Oh. Yes, the little kid's gonna rob him. Get that look in his eyes. <laughs> Dead eyes. I don't think there's ever been a better time for fighting games, actually. Because just that Tekken 7 just came out as well. Yeah. Which I haven't played either. 
Street Fighter V still has new fighters coming out. Yeah, okay, they're, they're stretching it a bit with this commercial. Why, what do you mean? He's making Just friends like, and driving across the rice fields and <laughs> encounters with BS. That's why he Stretch. brought it, to make all them friends. Like, uh -oh. Just to meet the only white guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's 3v3 fights. Alright, so I guess people are having... Switch parties? So yeah, that's I guess what they that, that's what they want people to do. I mean, my coworker wants me to bring my Switch to work so that we can play um, Splatoon 2 together. And then have gay sex afterwards, right? Exactly. All right. Well, we can have gay sex before, but I mean, right. Splatoon is the main action. <laughs> gotcha. They didn't really show the gameplay at its finest. They're, they're more focused on the aspect of it being portable. I think, yeah, well, they're, they're trying to sell the Switch still. You know, it's still a new console. You guys are they're, advertising. They're showing how portable it is, and you can play anywhere you want. Yeah, we get so it. You can battle like Ash does. He just goes up in the rice fields and finds people they to fight. To That's what, oh my god, people are really waiting for a Switch Pokemon game. Not like a, a, a classic catch Pokemon and battle game. I'm not gonna lie, I'm waiting for that too. So it looks good. Did you hear that they, um, there's a rumor going around they're starting finally on um, Grand, Grand Theft Auto 6? Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope it's epic. It's supposed to be uh, the entire country. Is it really? Yeah. They just made that up. No, yeah. They're trying to do... Um, That's too much. Coast to coast. Which country? That's way too much. This country. America here. You heard they can do a, a single city really detailed. Whoa, but uh, to do everything in the middle? <laughs> right. That's too much. What I gotta do is just take uh, the two biggest and just add some stuff in the middle. I think that Remove it off. all the cul-de-sacs and, and the trail parks. Yeah, just put desert in the middle of it. <laughs> Two cities, east and west. I say if they want to do big, do like four cities. Like four I think they've done two before. I think cause where the, the one they're at now, that's in um, California, right? Yeah. Supposedly. And then they threw Vice City in like DLC for Part Four or whatever, so you can go back. It, it's been a while since I played in Grand Theft Auto, but I don't think they can do more than four cities. Really, what, in one really game? detailed, yeah. Oh. Otherwise, it's going to be too much. <laughs> I'm surprised they're still adding stuff to that game. That game is like five or six years old, and they're still releasing DLC for the PC. Ever since um, Grand Theft Auto Online came out, they're still adding stuff. Yeah, they're still making uh, new ways to get your money. I want you to buy those shark packs. Are you still playing it? Grand Theft? Yeah, Absolutely online. not. No? <laughs> There's too many people shooting at you for no reason. I don't have enough time <laughs> to sit down and do Get nothing physically and just, yeah. Like, I actually do things. Uh-huh. So, but gaming is fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just too much stuff. Like, if, if if I was a kid, I'd be so excited right now. Uh-huh. I'd be busting my parents' chops for all these games, and they'd, they'd hate me because they have to work harder, possibly sell their bodies. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot of things you got to do when kids want games. Like selling your body. Is that what you're going to do when your kids want games? Is it <laughs> time to sell my body? When in doubt, put your body up. That's right. That's tangible. It's cash. This is cash, right, people? Okay, on that note, we're going to go out. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week, guys. Um, hopefully, I can get one of these going at least twice a month if not weekly, but um, I'm trying to put out more shows. I uh, hope you enjoy. And that's it for this week's uh, Couch Co-op. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Any any comments, or welcome comments. Give us anything. All right, guys. Peace. Take care. Keep it together. This is the serpent's tongue. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you?